Okay, I'm here with Coach Emma Lorenzen. Today, Emma, one and one. Yeah. Okay. Came out. Let's, let's, let's tackle Arcadia first. Okay. Okay, came out. That first set hit 571. So what was going through your mind then? Yeah, I was definitely really excited to see that our setters were spreading our offense and we weren't very predictable with where we were going the ball. And I think it was really awesome to see everybody kind of contributing and not really one player. We were kind of unexpected in that. So it was really exciting and it was really awesome to come out and that strong knowing that, you know, Friday was kind of a tough loss for us. So to see them with that mental toughness piece was really huge for us and kind of gave us some confidence going into the Salisbury game. Okay. And what can you say about Sakara Masibo? <laughs> Both times, 24-23, they fed her the ball in the middle, and she put it down, and you won. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she is definitely a light on the court. She plays very light, and it's just really awesome to see her kind of being active and just how much trust her setters have in her. And every time that we're in system, we kind of have that mentality of feed her the ball because she just knows what to do every single time. And she, when she's available, I mean, her contact point, she can really do something with that. And so we got to kind of keep pushing that because she ends points for us, ends rallies, and that's exactly what we want to continue to see. Well, and I just mentioned to her, I said, do you even know what a tip is? Because I've not seen her tip yet. Unless the ball is really set low, she wants to hit. It's funny because her off speed is actually, I think, one of her weaker areas, and she just can go out swinging, and it doesn't even matter if the set's a little bit off, not as fast, not as high. I mean, she gets up fast, and she swings even faster. So, I mean, I'm really, really proud of her to be a first year and to contribute the way that she is, and I don't even think she realized the capacity of what she's doing. So uh, I can only imagine what she'll do here in the next four years. And you know, so let's talk about a little bit about Salisbury mm -hmm. match. Uh, Julia Vieta has never played outside six rotations in her career, and she did against Arcadia and Salisbury. Uh, comment a little bit about her play today. Yeah, she's an amazing leader. I think she's a calm and collective leader, which I think we, our team really, really needs, especially when we kind of start to dip and struggle. She, you know, is always really uh, positive with teammates, and she's competitive, and I love to see that in her. Uh, I think she did a phenomenal job stepping up and taking over that sixth rotation outside. Uh, I know it was a lot of pressure on her to do so, but she never once showed an ounce of fear for it, and she was ready every single time when I had asked her, so I'm really proud of her. I think she definitely came out swinging and definitely played smart game today so um, we're going to continue to see what she can do and give us on the outside and I just love how flexible she is in either way and whatever task I give her I know she'll go up fearlessly and I'm just really really proud of her yeah I didn't see the drop of the heads yeah today yeah you know, they knew it was Salisbury they knew Salisbury is pretty good yeah uh, and I just thought Nicolette Fugelstadt just had a ball mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. and the one I said to her the one time um, one of their middles was going to just rip it and she hit it in the net but Nicolette was already on the ground yeah, <laughs> back yeah. trying to back up but talk to her uh, talk about a little bit about what Nicolette brings to the court yeah absolutely so Nick is definitely a goofy individual and she kind of brings that spirit to our team for sure I think she will hit the floor every single time for the ball and just really go for that uh, I think passing wise is definitely one of our weaker areas and so to know that and know that she hasn't really had much court experience and she's kind of going into that with that back and forth of her confidence I think we've kind of just been in her ear a lot as, as a coaching staff and just kind of giving her that reassurance and that positivity I think the biggest thing for us today was getting stopped on defense knowing that they had so many options and they run such a quicker offense we just kind of told Nick hands up protect that face of yours <laughs> because it's coming fast and it's coming hard and again she was fearless and even in one of the comments to her she goes I don't even care if it's off my head if it's up it's up so I can appreciate that of course and any player willing to put her body through that I think is impressive and um, she didn't play scared tonight, and I'm really excited for her in that, and I think that's a big point for her mentally as a player right. to kind of go through that. So, mm -hmm. okay. absolutely. So who's next? Marymount, right? Marymount, yeah. yep. Um, oh, Catholic. We got Catholic, oh, Catholic here. Right. Yep. Marymount's the following Wednesday in your home. Yep, right. exactly. Yes, yep, right. we got Catholic. Catholic on the road here. So um, I'm excited for us to kind of get back on the road. I think, you know, after – going to Gettysburg and dropping. I'm curious to see what kind of team comes out against Catholic. Uh, we have definitely going to focus on our passing this week for sure um, and just continue to watch scout film and got a lot of sessions with girls this week which is watching their own film and just kind of being able to grow and physically see ourselves on the court and just different ways that we can improve. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, great. Thank you. That's Emma Lorenzen, head coach at Stevenson University.